Hope. You have seen this device on the top of every electrical locomotive. Do you know? How it raise up, or down? This video is explaining the technology of pantograph raise, or down. Pantograph is an important device for every electrical locomotive. Have you ever observed it? There are two pantographs mounted on the roof, but at a time one pantograph is raised and connects the locomotive with the OHE contact wire. But, most of the time, you can see the rear pantograph touched the OHE, and if there is any defect or damage, then the front pantograph is used. Because, when the locomotive pilot raised the pantograph through a key, named ZPT, there were three positions of ZPT in both cabs, up, zero, and down. When the loco pilot keeps the ZPT in position one from driving the cab, is always rear pantograph raised. This is an automatic system or by default system. The second reason is, at the time of driving, if the locomotive's pantograph is broken by chance, the broken pantograph will not be able to cause any damage. As the train runs in the front direction, but the front pantograph can damage the rooftop components, if it is raised condition. Let's see how it raised. The pantograph is raised by the pneumatic control mechanism that consists of the servo motor, it is mounted on the roof, a control rod with an insulator. Here are also some parts that are helps to raise the pantograph. A steady tube assembly. This steady tube assembly maintains the contact plane of the bow assembly horizontally during vertical movement. The articulated system is designed to allow a maximum extension of 2460 plus 0 and minus 20 millimeters. Two springs whose tension always balances the mass of the articulated system, and at the same time raises the pantograph and provides the required contact force of 7 kg distributed through the bow assembly for satisfactory current collection. Let's see the operation of the pantograph. When the compressed air is admitted into the servo motor cylinder, the control rod is displaced, thus permitting the rotation of the horizontal spindle, lower arm. As the result, the pantograph rises until the collector's head reaches the overhead contact wire. During this vortical movement, the steady tube assembly maintains the contact plane of the bow assembly horizontally. At this time, these springs release their tension and help the pantograph to raise. From this point, the servo motor plays no further role in the control of the pantograph. After that, the pantograph balance is maintained through the main spring. Sometimes you can see the hydraulic piston for better stability. At the releasing time, the pressure drops in the cylinder causing the piston to return to its own position, and the control rod pushes the lower arm spindle. This admission and the release are done through the throttle valve, which allows the pantograph to lower slowly. See this animation. Hope, you have understood the video. If you learn anything from the video say, yes, let's grow up. Never stop learning.